Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a Crusadia Dragon Link deck analysis. So this is a not a pure Dragon Link or, or Crusadia Dragon Link. So it's uh, more Crusadia OTK. So it's in the middle. I really don't know how to explain it because it has aspects of both. And I you can use LP in this deck, but I just use Pist D because I don't like having combos that are threatened by the ban list. So yeah. So this is going to be a relatively long video. Um, I'm going to shorten it in, uh, this video itself is going to be edited a lot, but I'm going to have a short series going on in the next couple of days, and it's going to be just like edited clips of this. So, all right. So, there are five Crusadia monsters, and what you play three of all of them. So, the first one is Maximus. So... All Crusadia monsters have the same first effect. They can be special summoned to a zone a Link monster points to, so you can summon to like right here, um, in defense position. And it's a hard one to return for each uh, monster. So they always have the first same effect. Uh, each different Crusadia has a different type and attribute. Uh, no two Crusadias have the same um, type and attribute except the extra monsters. Um, and then uh, the levels are all three or four, or a Link Monster, obviously. Um, so this is um, the one that allows to facilitate OTKs, really. Um, it doubles the damage um, that you would do to when you're attacking an opponent's monster, so it's very, very nice to have. Um, the next one is Crusadia Draco. You always play three of this one. So this is your card that you search off of um, uh, Magius. So level four dragon um, wind type. Um, it recurs a uh, dragon or a crusading monster from the grave or when it's special summon to the zone elite monster points or normal summon, which is nice. And then this is what allows you to go into your guard dragon plays. And that's what makes this deck so consistent. It always just needs two cards any two Crusades besides Crusade and Draco. And actually, I've been trying to work a combo if you do draw Crusade and Draco, which is actually working out pretty well. So, um, this one allows you to do it or add more cards, and it makes it so it's uh, much more consistent. So, this is the one tuner in the deck. You can play Halka Fibrex if you want to. This is more of a budget build, so I didn't. I chose not to include that. I don't, actually don't even own it, anyways. So this is a warrior, so you can search it off of a Rota. Uh, if you see the lights in the corner, I'm really confused on why it's doing that, so um, don't comment on that, please. Um, it's a level three water, so just a nice one. And then this one can protect your monster, so you can banish it from your graveyard to stop something from being destroyed. Um, it's just a nice one. And then um, if you were to play Synchro Monsters, I was playing F.A. Dawn Dragster for a while in this deck, and this is the only card that allowed me summon it. So it's kind of nice, but I would rather stick to consistency. So the next one is Crusade of Lusa. This is a fire spellcaster monster. And um, for this card, um, when it's special summoned to a zone link monster points to, um, you get to destroy, destroy um, one, let's see, one card, one Crusadia card you control and one card your opponent controls. So, say if you just summon this to a zone, um, this card points to, you can destroy this and pop a monster on the opponent's field. So, it's just kind of nice. Um, this is probably the worst Crusadia next, Leonis. It's a Earth Beast level 3. And all it does is it says, um, or it allows you to um, inflict piercing battle damage. So, it's like um, Maximus and it lets you... Um, do it if you target something so that's it for the actual basic crusadian monsters like i said before there's five in total in the main deck and there is some in the extra deck which we'll get to in a moment all right so here is probably the best start of the deck just because it is a ton of ex it gives gets you to a ton of extenders um four month skipper so it's a level one Cybers monster, and um, it can count as a Crusading monster. All you have to do is activate its effect, reveal one in your extra deck, and it becomes uh, that for a Link summon. So that's all you really need to summon Magius, which is really really nice. And then also, when you're when you use it as a Link summon, 
you get uh, you get to search for probably the best extender in the game, in my opinion, at least. Um, so you search, you get to search one of these off a of format skipper, and then when you link summon it, um, you get to special summon this from your hand to where it points to, and then you get to special summon one from your deck. So then they both become level four. So if you were to play like trap shift for Plasia, so you can play around hand traps, there's just like a ton of different things to do. So I play black lap, black dragon clop serpent and white dragon wyvern buster. So uh, these are just free extenders really in this deck because you do use light and dark monsters in the combo and it's always searchable. These two aren't searchable in this deck really. You could play chaos space in there, but I tend to not really like that card. Um, so yeah. Um, code breaker zero day. Um, you can special summon this to your opponent's field, so it just um, helps with combos. And then also, um, a later in the combo section, later in one of the other videos that are going to be out, or that's going to be this one, but in the grand scheme of things, in the other video, um, uh, I'll show you the combo with this, and it just gets you so many extra materials. Uh, Dragoonity, um, Coos, and Dragoonity Divine Lance. So, these two cards, um, this can be, like, Phalanx or whatever, um, that's not important, as long as it can special summon itself. So, with, um, Dragoonity Knight Romulus, you can add this to your hand, equip this, and just get an extra for your material. So, that's really what you do with your Guard Dragon plays. It's, like, you use, like, two cards in the Guard Dragon plays at all. So, that's it for those. Um, I play three Crusaders Spelling Traps, so I play one power so this card is very very nice it allows you to um uh target one crusader monster you control and it becomes unaffected by artifacts except its own which is very nice because there's a few hand trouble points crusadia revival um that's the next one so that one makes it so all crusadia link monsters on the field gain 500 attack points and you can target one crusadia monster you control then it can attack all opponent monsters that you can control that it can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each so that's really really nice but it makes it so other monsters you can control can't attack but that's still like so many attacks and crusader crawler which allows you to it's searchable and also allows you to add world legacy to see succession which is our next card i play two of those just because sometimes it's just really nice and it helps for recursion i actually don't own the card yet um it's around christmas time where i'm filming it so I can't really order anything right now or else it's going to take forever to get here. So those, um, what those do is it, um, you can target one monster in your graveyard, special summon it to a zone link monster points to. So I have a play where you can, um, I'll explain this later, um, the, how it can, let's see. So it makes it so if your board gets entirely wiped, you can still get out like an ab max back on your next turn and it's very, very nice. So my next card I play is Called by the Grave. Um, I would play three of this, but sadly it's limited currently. Um, stops hand traps, it uh, banishes them from the graveyard. It's just really, really nice. So next card, Monster Reborn, nothing to say there. Target one monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Uh, it's really good. Um, Rhoda will add a Crusadia Arborea to your hand. So now into the hand traps. Um, so the hand traps are very, very up to you. And in this format, uh, I just like to play this lineup. And also I would play um, some different ones if I actually could afford them. Um, I've been lucky to pull some of these cards, which are really nice. So, uh, there. So I play Three Cypher and Gear Gamma. Uh, probably the best hand trap in the form right now. It literally stops everything. So, it while you control no monsters, or is it no cards or no monsters? Um, while you control no monsters, you can special summon this and Cypher and Gear Driver from your um, hand deck or graver. And then um, negate the activation and destroy it. So, that's just super nice when we go in second. And then this is vanilla, but they both get banished at the end of the turn, which is just, eh, but it's still good. I play infinite, infinite impermanence. I would play two of this, but uh, I only own one, and yeah. So uh, this card just allows you to negate things or negate monster effects, which is just really nice. Uh, Nibiru, um, 
But yet again, with this card, I only own one, so I would play two of this as well. Um, when your opponent special summon, normal or special summons five or more monsters in a turn, you get to tribute all cards they control and special summon this to your field and give them a token. Um, it's just really good. And Ash Blossom, yet again, I only own one. These cards are like, this card's 20, this card's 10 and 10. I'm 13 and broke. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so this card just uh, very, very generic. It um, negates it, uh, cards when they add cards from their deck to the hand. Special summon from the deck or send from deck to the graveyard. So that is it for the main deck. And now to the extra deck. So, uh, I do, so some of the cards in here are just, to my opinion, that are really good. So I played two Magius. This is really what allows you to, this deck to shine. Um, it allows you to add cards from your hand and, or egg cards from your deck to your hand. So you start out, um, it all requires is one Crusadia monster except this card. So you can summon it with literally any of these cards at the beginning. And then also with four month skipper, you could actually summon it too, which is really, really nice. Um, so gains attack equally equal to the monster it points to, but you cannot um, special summon, or you cannot attack with monsters that this card points to. So I only played two of this cause you really need to, like I played three for a while, but then it just became a wasted spot in the extra deck. And then when you summon special summon something to it, um, you get to search for any Crusadia, which is really nice. So, uh, I totally just knocked over my leg. Hold on. All right, everything is fine. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay. So now on to the link to Crusadia monsters. We have Crusadia Regulex. So it's the same first effect. Um, all the link monsters have the same first effect. Um, it gains attack to what it points to, and then it what, atta what it points to can't attack. Um, and by the way, it gains attack, um, not defense, because Crusadia monsters, or not Crusadia monsters, um, link monsters don't have defense. So, Regulex, um, when a monster special summon to a zone it points to, you can add a Crusader spell or trap. So that's how you search um, all of the spells and traps, like um, Crusader Crawler, Six, no, you didn't search this, you're not but, and then um, Spatha allows you to move things over, so that's where the guard dragons come in. So you can move it over so you can actually activate their effects, and it's very, very consistent. Um, our next card is Crusadia Equimax. So this is the face of the deck. Um, same first effect. Um, this one, instead of having to require a Crusadia monster in there, it's just a link monster, so it's relatively generic. Um, this one uh, gains attack like the other one. But this one, you can um, tribute a monster, a Crusadia or World Legacy monster this card points to and then uh, negate the effects of one card in the field, and it's a quick effect, so you can chain it to other things. So this one is what you OTK with, because, um, so you can, if this is your field, um, this card gains attack, so this is gonna be uh, um, 36, because it says 1600 attack, and uh, you can target this card with, uh, you can target this card with this, so this card does double damage when it attacks a monster, and then say this card points to monster here so that it cancels out the attack. So it would deal, um, let's see, 3,000 times two, which is 6,000, and then an extra 1,200. So 7,200 damage right there. So it's the heart and soul of this deck. Very, very nice. I actually didn't play this for a while. I never realized how good it was um, until recently uh, when I started building a OTK and um, OTK and Guard Dragon one, so that's just really nice. Avermax, um, this is the only, this is the, the weird Crusadia monster. Um, it's uh, Link 4, but the mo it, it doesn't revolve Crusadia at all. I don't even know why it has the name of that. Uh, well, actually, I do. It's from the lore, but still. Um, two monsters, special summon from the extra deck, so two Link 2s and whatnot. Um, 
or like a two and link one or whatever. Right, no, not link two and link one, link two and two, uh, or link three and one. Um, so, um, this card with its link summon, um, you can't target it by card effects, and then uh, it's so you cannot target this. Or my opponent cannot target this card um, with card effects, and then um, you, they cannot target monsters I control except this card for attacks. So that's nice because the second effect, or technically the third, but um, uh, when this card battles a special summon monster, it gains attack equal to it. So basically, say if I attacked. Um, uh, like, let's see, Boral Sword, no, not Boral Sword, um, let's see, I'm trying to think, Forload Savage, so say it has 4,000 attack, uh, this card gains 4,000 attack when it's battling it, so your opponent takes 3,000 and the monster's destroyed, so it's still a really, really good card, I just don't know why it has the name of Crusadia, so, it's just nice, so, Next we have the dragon cards. So I only play guard dragon pisty. Uh, in my opinion, I don't like playing decks that are uh, prone to hitting the ban list. Um, there's really no cards in here that are gonna hit the ban list. I can almost guarantee you. The card that's most likely the highest chance is probably this card, but that, we'll get to that in a second. Um, this card, it cards a um, level four lower dragon monster and um, all you need, or all it does is special summon one from your graveyard if it points to, or two or more. It special summons a dragon monster from your banished zone or graveyard, um, and it lost you to dragon monsters, but it has, you can only special summon it to a zone, uh, two is points, point to it. You, you special summon, the monster you special summon from the graveyard with this card, you can only, it has to point to two monsters. It doesn't have to point to this card, but it, I'm overcomplicating this, but that's not really important. And it has thousand attack and one level four dragon monster. Uh, just really nice with Crusader Draco. Um, so this card, um, so you summon Pissy and then act special summon your Draco from the graveyard and link into this. And this card, um, only the really the first effect is important and then the name. So it requires two dragon or wing news monsters except tokens, which doesn't really matter except for those dragons. And then if this card is linked something, you can add one dragon new spell or trap or dragon new ravine or dragon ravine. And um, so the card you do play that is actually affected by this, let me find it. It is Dragoonie Divine Lance. So you Add the, so you summon this, then this card adds this to your hand, then you equip this to this, which equips Dragoonity Coos or Phalanx. It's your choice. You can play with either one. And then all that matters is this card, while it's equipped, can special summon itself. So it's just a free extension, uh, extra free cards, which is really nice. I mean, who doesn't love that? And then we have the Code Breakers now. Um, Codebreaker, Virus Swordsman, and Codebreaker, Virus Preserver. And then these work hand in hand with Codebreaker Zero Day. Let me just find that. So, if this card, um, so what you do is all it starts out with is you summon this with two effect monsters. And then if it's Cone Twent Summoned, you get a special summon zero day from your hand deck or graveyard um, to a zone a mon linked monster points to. So you can summon it to your, your field, your opponent's field, um, and then it's just really nice. So then you go with these two link three strength and two virus berserker. Then this card allows you to do the same thing as this one, but with two cards. So you get some of these two back, and either of them can be on, on your opponent's field or opponent monster points to or on the sheer field. And then this card allows you to also pop um, two spell and traps while it's like this, or there's two um, code breakers on the field. So this allows you to just add, like, go into like a lot more extensions and then also get monsters on your opponent's field for OTKs. So, all right. Um, all right, so, the next two cards are Nightmares. These are just generics. Um, so this card, uh, both of these, uh, when they're summoned, you can discard a card. 
This one, you can target a card on the field and um, shuffle or card in the field and then return it to the deck. And then this card just destroys the spell or trap. And then the second effects are really not that important, but it's still nice. So the um, this one makes it so at the beginning of the, um, of the turn and your draw phase, so it you draw cards instead of um, how many, um, let's see. So while the it's while the uh, nightmares are co-linked, it doesn't have to be with each other. But if they're if depending on how many um, co-linked nightmare monsters on the field, that's how many cards you draw. So it's kind of nice. And then this one just makes it so um, once per turn, um, co-linked monsters you can control cannot be destroyed by battle. Um, for just um, this, we play Opelousa just for negation. So it requires two monsters with different names or two plus monsters except tokens. And then you can only control one Opelosa. And then the original card attack of this card, can, the original attack of this card becomes 800 times the amount of link materials. So it becomes like 1600, um, 1800, I don't even know, six, then 20, no, it's eight, it, so it's either, it starts out with either 1600, 2400, or 3200. So that's just nice. And then if, you can uh, one opponent or one a card oh. once per chain when your opponent activates a monster effect. You can make this card lose exactly 800 attack, and if you do, negate the activation. So that's just a really easy to negate. Um, I don't know why most decks or uh, most decks play this, and I really like this deck. So I really like that card. Triple Burst Dragon. The effect really doesn't matter. It's just a uh, generic uh, monster. So if you have so when you move this over with Spatha, so say your field is like this, and then you move this over, but your uh, opponent hand traps this, so you can't move this over. Uh, you can't really summon anything from here, so which you sometimes, you just have to link these into triple burst and then you can continue comboing off. So it's really just a good card. Um, and then the effect, um, it comes up every once in a while. Once during the damage step, when a spell trap is active or monster effect is activated, um, you can negate the activation. So it negates something in the battle phase, which is nice. Um, it does piercing battle damage, which is nice. And then, let's see. And then, except the turn this a special summon, you can tribute this card, target one, link two or lower, dragon monster in your graveyard, special summon it, then you can special summon level four, dragon monster from your hand. So that's just nice. It really doesn't come up that often, but still. Um, Link Spider, um, so if you do get in a beard, because this is like the one deck's weakness, or this deck's weakness, uh, just combo decks in general, um, you get one normal monster on your field, you can summon this, and then you can just keep comboing off, which is just very, very nice. So that is it for the deck, and now on to the in-depth combos. Okay, so this is gonna be the basic combo. So it requires any two Hutanias besides Draco. So, um, requires no discards. Um, you get a two to get Alkalosa and a Avermax. Um, this is your minimalist combo. It's like very simple. And honestly, I feel comfortable like running on it because you're not getting hooked to the cave because you've got Avermax on your field. It's like, the worst thing that could probably happen is like evenly matched. That's like a second to you. So yeah. So this is the basic combo for basically Crusadia cards in general. So you normal summon Maximus. You are going to, oh, sorry. Um, you're gonna link one into Magus. Oh, I'm gonna grab a field center. It's my field center, my favorite field center that I use at least. Uh, it's, just, it's just one of my favorite cards in general. So, all right. So then you can special summon this to the zone that Magus points to. And then if you really needed to, you could activate that, but you really don't need to. So um, Magus effect is gonna activate. Um, so you're searching yourself Draco. 
Then from here, you are going to special summon Crusades Baffle by linking these two away. And you are going to do that one. That's not my great card. Uh, and then I use so special summon um, Draco. And then Draco is going to allow you to add back Maximus. Then you are going to special summon Pisty. Move Pisty over. And then, like I said before, if if you get negated right here, you can just special summon Trooper Blurs and then get out like uh, just Hyper Max instead. But you move if, in, if you, this is what you want, uh, you move over Pisty. Then you summon Draco. You're gonna summon um, Romulus now. Um, this is the law you're gonna search for Divine Lance. You're gonna equip Divine Lance. Equipping Kus to there, or it's Kus to um, Romulus. You're gonna special summon Romulus out, or Kus out. You are going to link forward with um, these two link monsters into Opelosa for two negates. And then right here, you are going to special summon Maximus. Link these two right away. Into Codebreaker Fire Swordsman. Codebreaker Fire Swordsman is gonna allow you to special summon this from your hand decker graveyard. And you're gonna link three into Codebreaker Fire Berserker. Virus Berserker is going to allow you to special summon these two back. And if you needed to, you could special, or destroy some spells and traps right here. Um, then, normally I use um, Nightmare Unicorn right here. Um, you don't really need to use this effect at all, just because um, with some of the recursion plays afterwards, if you were to do uh, have other cards in your hand, this is you still want that in your extra deck. Um, then here you are going to do last but not least and summon Admiralx. So it's a simple two card combo. Um, yeah, like I said before, this is something I can almost hear. This is just very, very nice. Um, so my next combo consists of four mud skipper and a crusading monster. So basically, what this is allowing you to do, this is going to allow you to be able to do that, but have your board where get you. Oh, that's my backpack. <laughs> um, something fell behind me. Um, so this is just going to be like, here we go. These two cards. So this is just going to allow you to have a recursion play on your next turn, just in case your board gets board wiped. So this is probably your preferred board. This like this is why I'm saying Foreman Skipper becomes like, like clutch. Um, Hold on one second. Uh, I'm just like getting the cards ready, so I don't have to like search through my entire deck. So, um, first off, we're gonna start by normal summoning form and skipper, activating its effects, revealing uh, Spatha. Um, and then we're gonna link one into Magus. Special, or, and then uh, actually, before you do anything, you activate um, my hands gonna be down here for now. Um, you add Parallel Elixir, then you're going to Special Summon, Reclusia, and Magus is going to activate its effect, searching yourself, Draco. Then, here you are going to, um, this is where it majorly differs from the last combo. Uh, this is like the only really big change. Um, so you're going to link two into Regulex. Then you're gonna activate Parallax Seed as effect. Special summoning this to the point zone that points to. I don't know, it's just, let's see. One, two, all the way over here. Um, and then Regulex's effect is gonna activate. Searching you, your Crusadia Crawler. Then, let's see. Then you go into Spatha. Look normal. And special summon Draco out. Then you add back. Oh, oops. You add back. Increase your hand, but you can't special summon it again because you already uh, special summoned it this turn. 
Uh, that's actually part of the recursion play for the next turn. So we're going to go special summon uh, Pissy, move Pissy over, special summon Draco back, linking into Romulus. And then Romulus will allow you to add Divine Lance. Activating the Lion Lance, equipping it to that, equipping Kus, and special summon Kus. And then week two, or week four again, into um, Opelosa yet again for two. And then we're gonna go Code Breaker combos again. So. Summon that out by linking these two off. Then you special summon zero day. And then you link these two. Special summon these off. Pop cards if you need to. Push them to reverb. And then this is where it's important to use the um, unicorn. And then you um, go into an Avermax. And then some of that here because it doesn't matter what zone is and then you're gonna set um your crawler so on your opponent's turn you activate your crawler it really doesn't matter when it just makes sure you special summon it to either here here or here or whatever zone eight link monster points to um that because it's important because then crawler allows you to add a world legacy card so i currently don't have this card like in person with me um this is supposed to be World Legacy Succession. And my lights are freaking out again. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, so, say my board gets white now, somehow. So everything's in the graveyard. But I still have these two cards in my hand. So World Legacy Succession and, um, um, uh, what's it called? Reclusia. So technically, um, I still would have three cards in my hand from last turn, and you draw your card. So you have all these extenders and whatever and whatnot. Um, so I'm just gonna put these four here. Um, so then you can normal summon your Reclusia or whatever uh, thing you didn't use yet. Um, uh, this is your second, technically turn three, but whatever. Um, you summon Magius, then you activate uh, Succession. And since you have this zone um, good, you can, um, Special summon this, then you can add where is it? a second Draco to your hand, and then you special summon your Draco, getting back your Clusia, which you haven't summoned yet this turn. Then you special summon this, and then you can go into a Triple Burst, you can go into a Equimax, Phoenix. Um, so this is where you have your last plays. So it, depending on what you still have your hand, it's sometimes good to go into this. Um, if you really don't have anything good in your hand left, you can just activate this. Um, if you, um, actually the best move is to just go and summon um, Phoenix, um, discard a card, target a spell trap on the field. Or your opponent controls destroy it, then draw a card, uh, and then go into either of these two. So um, that's it for the second combo. And um, yeah, so I am now going to do some going second combos because uh, this is where the deck really shines. And yeah. Okay, so since the. Um, Combos are so linear, um, it's kind of boring just watching the same combo over and over again. So I'm gonna do a test hand out of that. All right, so draw five. Ooh, two hand traps, Paralypse, Maximus, and Eclusia. And since we're on second, draw that extra card for Leonis. Um, I'm just gonna say that we didn't use these because we uh, it's just for the fact of Um, okay. Let's see, so I say normal summon Maximus. Summon 
I guess, sorry, if you can hear my family, I really don't know if you guys can, because my family's live. So, summon Leonis. Search for Draco. Someone's gonna comment down Draco a lot, I don't know. Please don't, or honestly, I don't care. Comments are fun. So yeah, comment down below, anything, really. Comment down below with your pair of Crusadia. Um, yeah, so you're gonna have some Regulux. Then chain seed. Searching, since we're going second, you don't wanna search, um, you wanna search a, a revival or power. But I definitely think revival is better in this case. Probably starting past it. Here we go. Okay. Um, so that's our hand. So now we're going to summon Spatha. Right here. And we're going to special summon Draco. Adding back Maximus. Then summoning Pisty. Moving Pisty over. Summoning Draco back. Linking to away for Romulus. Romulus adding uh, Divine Lance to hand. Equipping Divine Lance to equip Coos. Then special summoning Coos. Shuffling my deck now. Hold on. Right. And then from here we are going to. Actually, we do make Opalos now. And then the crater as well. Uh, it's on two negates. Just um, the reason why we do this is for like the code breaker part, just because. Uh, for the arrows, that's very important. So, I'm gonna fire a swordsman, search zero day. Um, yeah. Then we are going to special summon fire speaker. Then these two special summon these back. Sorry about the glare again. Um, my lights are weird today. Um, still have five cards in the paint. Okay, so from here we are going to actually, actually we don't special summon a um, swordsman on our field, we summon him to our opponent's field, right here, and these are still here. So I'm actually just going to move this to the other side, it really doesn't matter what side they're on. stuff right here it's my wall so um so from here we could summon Lucia and this is actually right here um and the call here would be to make an Equimax using these three cards no. Yes. Um, hmm, to think about this. Well, this isn't fancy, but using these three cards as material. Then we are going to go like that. And then we really don't even need to activate this, but we're going to activate this anyways. Um, because, so. All right, I'm, not even, I'm just gonna show you what happens. So you can target this with this, and this card already gains um, an extra 2K from here, so it's at 4K, and then this card, it, do, it adds the attack of this one. So if this attacks over, it has whatever the attack of these cards points to. So no matter what, you destroy that card. But since this does double damage, it's already at 4K. Um, if you attack, that's already game. But if you have this on your field, you can attack all monsters with point control, so depending on what they have and everything. And then you still have cards left over in your hand, so... Yeah. Um, in reality, I'm not going to do a second uh, <laughs> going second combo, because that's really it. Nothing special there. And, um, 
This deck is very simple to play. It's very fun. Um, uh, I actually do have a side deck. Uh, also, with the hand traps for this deck, um, those are just what I play. Um, and it's also format dependent. The rest of the cards I say keep, but the hand traps you can change in and out. And then the side deck also, this is just what I currently play. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. And I think can wrap up this video because there is not much left. All right, so this is my side deck and this is just um, to the current format. And also um, this is very, very budget and I would rather use like other cards or if I could. So two twin twisters, uh, back row hate, uh, two cosmic, more back row hate. Um, D barrier, uh, there's a lot of uh, dry shrines in the current uh, meta and also zodiac. So we, lo we love that, uh, using that card. Uh, Valor, um, I just didn't have room in the main deck for all these. I would normally play, I would probably play for any of them. Um, BA just got back to uh, almost full power. Uh, dry charm falls for this. Uh, virtual world is that. And then uh, pink tops, uh, one of you have to play one of this in your side deck. I don't get why people don't. Uh, more back row hate, red reboot. Uh, Old Lich is actually doing good again. And then Gaka Gaka Powboy because I, I jokingly, jokingly stalled for time. But I, I actually haven't stalled for time. Because currently when I'm filming this video, um, we're in quarantine and we have been for like the past six months, no, long of it. So yeah, thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below um, what's your favorite variant of Crusadia. Um, let's see, uh, I've seen Synchro, um, Synchro uh, Crusadia, we have uh, Xyz uh, Crusadia, we have um, VFD Turbo Crusadia. Uh, we have Dragon or Crusader Dragon Link, uh, Crusader Guard Dragon. Uh, the difference between those is like there's like Dragon Link where it's like all of it, and there's just like the way I play. Um, and then there's Crusader like Kaiju, uh, like it was just pure OTK. So comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out other videos. Um, and also, I can I'll probably do more of these types of videos. Uh, they're probably gonna be like online videos of like like EDO Pro or like Dual Line Nexus or whatever or like. Um, just because I don't own a lot of the cards. Um, so uh, comment down below if we can get like 30 likes on this video. That's kind of a lot for how my channel is going right now. Um, uh, and we can get, I'll do a new, I'll do a second version of this, but the different deck of your guys' choosing. And if you want to be chosen for this deck, or like if your deck should be chosen for this, uh, comment down below what you want to do. Um, I read the comments, so yeah, uh, thank you, and this is Bajo7, signing off, bye!